I have no idea if I filmed an intro for this, so if I didn't, hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my May 2021 book haul. Dane reads. Uh, there's a biggie down here. I'm going to try and show him to you, but I'm a bit scared because I've still got a healing tattoo here. And he jumped on me yesterday and jumped right on me bloody tattoo with his claws out, and it hurt. So we're going to try using this, aren't we? Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Come with daddy. Yes. Hello everybody, hello everybody, hello, oh, are you gonna, are you gonna talk to, no, we're going down, okay, right, so, new books, so I got these in the post today, and I'm quite excited, because uh, I think I paid about 13 quid for 13 books or something, but uh, I mean, so these are all Spike Milligan, who is one of the authors I'm slowly trying to work through, not gonna lie, he's a little bit racist, but he was old and he's dead, so that kind of makes it a little bit better. And, and I think he picked up a lot of his racism during the British Army when uh, the events of this book happened. Spike Milligan, Adolf Hitler, my part in his downfall. Now, the reason I want to specifically mention this one, I have read this one. I sold a copy of this book, this exact like same edition, for nine pounds, I think, which is almost what I paid for this whole collection here. So um, that's exciting, should make a little bit of profit on these and lots to read, so. Uh, we have Spike Milligan, The Bedside Milligan, or Read Your Way to Insomnia. I already have Insomnia, Spike, but thank you. We have Pacoon, um, which is his only novel, I believe, and I think I've read this one. I'm 90% sure I've read this one, I just need to double check. We have Monty, His Part in My Victory, another one of the war memoirs. Rommel Gunner Who, by Spike Milligan, this is another war memoir, I have read this one. Uh, the Spike Milligan Letters, edited by, edited by Norma Farns, haven't read that. The Little Pot Boiler, haven't read this one. The Looney, I've definitely read this one. That's another one of his novels. A Dustbin of Milligan, haven't read. Small Dreams of a Scorpion, haven't read. A Book of Bits or a Bit of a Book, haven't read. Another copy of A Book of Bits or a Bit of a Book. Uh, so I guess I'll get rid of that one. And another one of Monty, his part of my victory. So yeah, some new ones, some dupes, but I'm happy with that. Hello everybody, I have some books that arrived in the post. We're just going to whiz through them because there's quite a few. So I got uh, Le Tour de Gaulle d'Asterix par Augustine Ayaderso. Uh, C'est un bon dessinateur en français. Numero 100. Uh, then I got William Shakespeare's The Force Doth Awaken by Ian Dersher. Uh, honestly, I actually thought this was... Um, the second of the prequels because I got confused but it was all right I, I had to re-watch the film afterwards and I enjoyed it more than I remembered it but I'm still not really a fan of the newer movies but I will eventually do it because he's, he's done all nine Star Wars movies uh, Why I'm Afraid of Bees by R.L. Stein. review of this coming soon Goosebumpsy book featuring like transmogrification A Christmas Carol 2 Contagion by Charles Dickens and Bruno Vincent uh, he's Bruno Vincent is the guy who did the um, like the famous five for adults like five go on a strategy away day and stuff um, So he's kind of known for writing humorous stuff. This was okay I, I only gave it like a three out of five though because it, it wasn't great. It wasn't as good as I was expecting Then we have Espadair Street by Ian M. Banks. Uh, no, sorry Ian Banks. No M because it's not this sci-fi stuff uh, I was recommended this by a poet friend and then by the spirit world via a writer friend who's also a medium and it was all right. Uh, yeah, just finished reading that one. And then we have these baby boys. So we've got some Isaac Asimov starting with extraterrestrial civilizations, which I already own a copy of. So that's going straight on eBay. Then we have the others. So we have Robots and Empire, Foundation and Earth. And we have the Hugo winners 1963 to 1967. Even though this is actually volume one of the Hugo winners, and I believe it's actually 1962. And then some James Herbert, so I got The Survivor, The Spear, and The Fog, and I'm probably going to read The Fog next. Okay guys, I went to the charity shops in town with my mum and I picked up three books. So I got Five Get Gran Online by Enid Blyton, it's actually by uh, Bruno Vinson. He wrote A Christmas Carol 2 Contagion, which I read recently as well. As you can see I also read this, I did enjoy it, four out of five. It's basically about the famous five after they've grown up and so in this one they go and help their grandma to connect to the internet and all sorts of shenanigans happen, good stuff. Then I got Vox by Christina Dolce. So this is one, I've been meaning to get to this for a while and um, I got this confused with The Power by Naomi Alderman, so I've read The Power. 
Um, but the, I, I basically, because they're both kind of feminist books, so I got the one confused with the other, and I read uh, The Power and really enjoyed it, but Vox is actually the one I've been trying to get to. So in this one, I think women can only speak a hundred words a day, yet any more than a thousand volts of electricity will curse through her veins. So it sounds fascinating, and uh, how society should be. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Don't cancel me, don't cancel me. We should get men to have this, to be honest. In fact, let's not limit anybody, shall we? Let's just... You know, instead of limiting people for equality's sake, let's boost people up for equality's sake as well. Make sure everyone has a platform and everyone can make jokes. You can make jokes about men and I won't get offended. Yeah. And then we got uh, Double Kiss by Ronnie O'Sullivan, the snooker player. So I'm super into snooker and uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan is basically the greatest snooker player who ever lived. Um, I mean Judd Trump is, is up there as well and then you got some of the old ones like Alex Higgins who I saw him play but um, I mean Ronnie's just a legend uh, and so I assume that he's worked with a ghostwriter for this I don't know if they're explicitly credited but uh, yeah this is the second book in a series as well yeah I doubt he wrote this himself but uh, yeah the first book in this series is called Framed and I'm actually sending that to my mum because it's like a crime series Set in Soho, I think, about this uh, guy who runs like a snooker club. So it's like a world that Ronnie knows about, you know? Um, but my mum's into crime as well, so I sent a copy of the first one to my mum. So if uh, she enjoys it, and if I finish reading this one, I'll send this one to her as well. Hello everybody, it is me. I have two books to haul from you from my visit to see my mum in Tamworth. So as a Christmas present, she got me vegan one pound meals by a Miguel Barclay. Um, so as with any recipe book, basically what I do is I go through and check out all the ones that I want to try. I try them all, I copy any I particularly like into my master list of recipes. And um, yeah, then I consider it completed once I've tried all of those. Like sun-dried tomato, sun -dried tomato hummus, I actually already have a recipe for that. That now sounds nice. Tabbouleh. Uh, polenta kebab sounds worth interesting. So uh, yeah, and then I have Stephen Fry's Incomplete and Utter History of Classical Music um, by Classic FM, as told to Tim Lahorian. I'm not particularly interested in this to be honest. I did used to want to read the, everything that Stephen, uh, that Stephen Fry had done. And then I read The Ode Less Travelled, which is his thoughts on poetry. And basically I heavily disagree with him on that. I actually found that he came across as very smarmy and pretentious. So I imagine he's going to be quite smarmy and pretentious in this one as well. Uh, he looks smarmy and pretentious on the cover to be honest. But hey ho, maybe he'll surprise me. His books used to be good back in the day when he wasn't a dick. Oh well. Hello! I am very zoomed in, but hey ho, it'll do. I have two books to show you that I've been given. Well, sorry, I bought one, I get given one. So, my friend Juliet, Juliet Hamilton of the Tired Dressmaker, she gave me this. This is Close, 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 Music, 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 Boys, Boys, Boys by Viv Albertine. Uh, she was the guitarist in The Slits, a band I've never listened to. Um, but she knew lots of famous people, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, and yeah, this is just her memoirs, and actually so far really interesting music memoirs. I'm about a quarter of the way through and really enjoying them. Um, she dated Mick Jones from The Clash as well, so that's very cool. And then I also got The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis, so you may have heard of the Netflix series this is based on. And uh, yeah. No, the, ba the Netflix series is based on the book, that's what I meant to say. Um, and I have a date with somebody, and so we're both going to read the book and then we're going to chat about it on the date, so that's very exciting. So I'm currently waiting for her to receive her copy before, before I start reading it, but I'm imagining it's going to be pretty good. So, there we have it, those are all the books that I received in May, it's now actually the 2nd of June. So as always, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them, hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video, thanks a lot, bye bye.